here. This is Isaac Smith, and this video is going to be on dry fire practice, drawing from the holster. Before we get started, however, let's first take a look and make sure that the weapon is clear, that there's nothing in the chamber, nothing, no magazines, and we also have no live ammunition inside the room we're going to be practicing in, so we have a safe and successful practice experience. Um, another safety tip as you're actually doing this, you want to make sure you're actually in the same procedure you'd be using it on light range, so Trigger control, keeping your finger off the trigger until you're actually ready to shoot is super important. Uh, like with everything that you want to make sure you're actually keeping that finger clear of it until you actually address the target and fire on the target. Um, so that's probably one of the biggest points is just keeping that, whenever you're going up, you keeping that finger out of the trigger guard. It's best to find a place you can just keep memorized and just get your finger used to being that one spot. So whenever you have that fire up, you're off until you're ready to shoot. Um, competition shooting the same thing, it's always safety first, and then it's in different practice, you can get faster and more accurate. Um, one of the first things you want to look at is how you stand. How you stand and approach your target is important. I prefer having kind of a squared approach where I'm facing my target with shoulders both kind of even at it, and my um, feet are kind of parallel going toward it. And I'll kind of actually like kind of lean toward it, almost like I'm ready to charge the target. Like if you're playing football, you're getting ready to get something new. It's going to like lean out, so you're addressing target, you know, evenly, you're balanced, and you're relaxed because you're at a point where you're going to be able to address maybe one target, maybe multiple targets, so you want to be able to change your angle if you have to, and that's why if you're doing something like a weaver or a half weaver, it changes your ability to actually, like, hit targets or turn and manipulate that way you're actually going to have trajectory, so it's except so what you're going to do anything, you want to be very slow for the first then work up in the speed as you get experienced. So, getting into the steps of it takes getting your firearm out of the holster and on target. So, the first step is always um, your stance. Again, you may actually be with the, the hands at your sides where you're just um, relaxed and going forward. You may be at a surrender where you have hands above shoulders. In that case, it's always going to keep your shoulders and sides so you have less motion that has to be done in order to get that firearm. So again, if you're up with like this, you're going to have a lot more movement. And the idea with everything is to keep less movement, less um, is actions, less action is going to be more speed. So if you're in close and tight, you're going to get to that firearm faster than if you're up here and coming and trying to get down and just faster, quicker. So again, a lot of times you're going to be like this way, and we're going to start today is just looking at going from a hand to the side with a kind of a reference point, you want to make sure that when you're doing this, you keep the same kind of a start position, so you're not always changing where your hands are at either. So if your hands are at your side, it's a good idea to kind of get used to having your forearm kind of just touch the same area of the um, grab <laughs> grip, so that you can always go right to that same point. That's always the same movement getting to it. At that same time, your hands are working together because you have a support hand that you're going to bring that gun up to. And so you want to make sure that it's also going out of the way and working at the same speed. So no matter what you're doing, it's always clearing so that you don't have an issue of flagging yourself with the muzzle of the gun. And it's just, it's clear in case you're having to do something that's going to be like maybe a one-handed competition or even front support or dominant hand or you're going to a uh, support hand. So Either way, you want to make sure you this this hand is working with this hand at the same time. So again, starting slow, getting used to working at the same speed is what you want to focus on first. Um, at that point, you want to then look at how you're going to address and grasp, getting a, a solid foundation as you grasp the gun. It's important that here you take the time to get a good solid area that you're going to be able to bring that gun up to and not have to, again, readjust as you're coming up. So if you're just going for speed, if you do something like that where the guns come out sideways, you're not going to be able to do it without readjusting your grip, which can take more time off of it. So take a little bit of time as necessary just to make sure that you get a good solid grip as you start. So then you pull up, but as your muzzle starts to just escape that area, you want to start dragging it forward and bringing that muzzle up to a horizontal position so it's almost here as fast as you can. So again, you're focusing on slowly up and out, raising up forward, and then as you start to reach here, you start bringing your hands together to help the base that solid support hand. And then you're pressing forward, 
So here we start to go from up, out. And as you get more experience, you're also not going to be looking at your holster. You'll get used to the location of it so that you can work faster just to get it on target, not having to look down and keeping your eyes on the target so you can address and bring it up on target quicker. So again, as we start to go from our grip, support, target, and then pull the trigger. At that point, depending on what you're doing, you may be done, you may have a competition where you're doing double shots, you might have multiples where you have to be going back and forth. At this point, let's work on getting from that point to the target. So you can go, again, slow is always good, step by step. Same thing as you're going back in the holster, you want to make sure that your finger's coming down off that out of the trigger guard and up on back to the same spot so that as soon as whatever you're getting ready to come back, you have no issue of acid having a discharge of the next round that's in the chamber. Whatever's going on, some competitions you'll unload, but regardless, you never want to be putting a, your finger on that trigger as you're going back into the holster. So again, you want to go ahead and make sure that we address the target. Standard pound relaxed. Nice slow fluid motions. And as you progress with practice, you're going to get faster as those steps go together. But again, if you take baby steps at first that are going really slowly, everything just becomes fluid so that you can continue that same motion. Holstering, you also want to make sure that we have the finger off the trigger, going back toward the holster and go back down straight. It's also very important that when you're reholstering that you're keeping that pistol on the muzzle pointed away from yourself, so it's also ready to kind of put yourself out so there's no way you're possibly getting that muzzle to aim down toward your hip or foot or anything else. Thanks for watching.